Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Tough Questions. Continuing playing Portal 2. The dose of the ports. Get a little bit further. Farther. Further. Uh, I actually Make figured out what the hell I was doing. Yes. This big area that says keep out over there. Yeah. That's where I needed to go. Oh, so it was not labeled correctly. No, it's 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 yelling at me to keep out. And, and yet you should not. Well, I mean, I could. They're just trying to trick you, bro. Do not enter. Keep out. It's probably something awesome down here. There's probably like ice cream factory. Gold mine? Yeah. Leprechaun with a pot of gold. Dang, or a leprechaun pushing an ice cream cart. Yeah. What is this pipeline? Is this Alaska? No, it's probably a sewer pipe. There's poo in there. There's poo in there. Andy Dufresne crawled through this yes, pipe. Yes, you're right. Don't, <laughs> don't shoot a portal into it. There's poo everywhere. It would be a poo portal. Oh, man. That, that's what portal I would do. Portal potty. <laughs> man, 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 man. <laughs> Pull the lever. Yes. Okay. I did it. I pulled the lever. Ooh. What's Whee! that, you think? It's a big vault. Some sort vault of vault. tech built it. <laughs> Suddenly a death claw is going to come yeah, flying oh out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That would be bad news for you because all you have is a portal gun that only works on some walls. <laughs> uh, it's true. Clock ticking. Well, guess what, buddy? It's Would You Rather Wednesday again. Dang. It's been a whole week since the last stupid question I asked you. Oh. Time okay. for another. Okay. <laughs> Ready? No. Yes. Well, let me know when you are. Okay. Wait. I'm going anyway. That okay. was too long. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather... Would you rather Wednesday... Be constantly smelling farts or be have constantly sticky fingers? Uh, <laughs> you know what, what? I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Like, sticky fingers are the worst, buddy. Yeah. Uh, but constantly smelling farts pretty bad, too. <laughs> like, no one else can smell them. So I suppose that might be something to consider. Your sticky fingers might get in the way of your amorous activities. <laughs> you're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, but maybe smelling farts would too, because you're like, I'm not really in the mood, baby. It smells like farts in here. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I feel like you could get used to farts because, like, there's been is instances True. where I smell sulfur, and I'm like, mmm, that smells good, you know. So. Well, and also, oh, even but if, sticky if you fingers are the worst. Even if you go into a stinky room, like you eventually just forget that it's stinky. You get used to it. Like I, I wash my hands all the time. If I get like the, the most yeah. little, like, you sp like just think about spilling like soda on your hand. Uh, what it feels like in thirty. Or if minutes. I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I go to like just close the lid. Yeah, exactly. And I get a little <laughs> bit on my finger. I'm like, oh, I have to wash my whole hand. Yeah, sticky fingers uh, would be worse. Man, unless yeah. you're a rapper, sticky fingers. <laughs> I'm. Man, I, I guess I'd rather smell farts all the time. I guess that's what I would go with, too. Because sticky fingers would just be awful. Even if you could never get used to the smart, the fart smell? The smart fell? The smart fell? <laughs> you a bunch of smart fellers. Oh. What I meant to say was fart smellers. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, I just... Like I, every time you breathe, you're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my uh, God. But is, oh it my like, God. <laughs> is, it, is it like the ruthless one? Oh, yeah, it's that, ruthless. Oh, where it like chokes you and gags you a little bit? It's ruthless. It's like somebody else's ruthless fart, not your own ruthless fart. No. Or sticky fingers. That would be that would be too easy. Yeah, of course. No. Lever. I think I probably still have to go with the ruthless farts. God, that's a tough question, man. That's <laughs> how appropriate. It, it really is. It, it 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 makes you wonder. Hey, Cave Johnson, dude. Oh man, his voice is so amazing right now. Cave Johnson. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, dude. That's he's like two like two things that are like very sexual. Cave Johnson. Cave Johnson. My Cave Johnson. <laughs> dude, he gross. He's he's hilarious. It, it it really is a part of the game that you just. Uh, He's gonna be falling through. Um, I feel like I gotta when I go through the first time I gotta shoot that one probably. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. Wait, I gotta. Oh, okay, so it's so it's only the what? Okay, just don't worry. I got it. I'm not worried. I got it. I got it. Watch, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot the right as soon as I figure out. Shoot the moon! Shoot! Hack the planet! All right, so I'm gonna jump out there. And then as I fall out, I'm going to... Damn it. Nope. Oh, and then try and fall. Yeah, through. so now that I'm going to try and fall. And then so get some momentum? Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds crazy. <laughs> it's, it's what you got to do in this, man. Got to get crazy. 
he got to get uh, a little a little psycho. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's where I need to land. Right there. And then I can go all the way up here. All right. Well, here we go. Well, let's see. <laughs> We're I'm excited to see. Oh, God. How long this is going to take you. Damn it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I promise, I'm usually really good at trajectories and such. We don't know where you're landing is your problem. Well, it's, it's a blind fall. Oh, God. Well, that one didn't work out. Okay. Well, that didn't work out. That did not work out. What? All right, well, thanks for joining us. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Top of Questions, where we're just going to try and fall out of this hole into this other hole. From one hole to another. Like my relationship status. Oh, buzzing! Oh, <laughs> oh that's why, because it's, it's got to be flipped. Okay. Nope, other way around. Okay, well, we're going to probably be doing this for a while. Well, let's start a conversation about something else then. Come on. Come you need a on. bigger portal. Dude, I just need the portal to not suck. Uh, okay, so we're talking about, what are we talking about? We're talking about power. Pow, pow, power. Power. Uh, Oh, come oh. on! I totally did it that time, too. So, uh, more or less, loss of power is is one, is what we're talking about, which I think is pretty interesting. I, uh... Oh, <laughs> A little bit closer. Dude, it's driving me crazy. Uh, I, I would say that the majority of problems that... I understand. Like, are you trying to do it with momentum? Is that the point? Yeah, because I gotta, I gotta jump through this one fall down and then I gotta shoot myself out that one and it's probably gonna put me on over there somewhere. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right. I'm assuming so. I, or I'm just trying to be an idiot. And yeah, or you're just spending a bunch of time not doing anything. Not doing anything. Everyone's like, what are you doing, Jared? Oh, no. Well. Well. So, loss of power. I'm gonna just start exploring here in a second. So, uh, so loss of power occurs with fuck it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to go, I'm going to explore for a second while we talk about this a little bit more. So, uh, loss of power. Yeah, there you go, you got up there already. Yeah, but I don't think I can oh, actually get, close. like. Yeah, get it closer. Up there, up there. Uh, so, uh, this can be done through language, non-verbals, regular verbals, uh, the multi-verbals. Yeah, see, I got to, I got to do... I don't know where I've got to shoot to. I feel like I go up there. Maybe I have been wasting my whole time. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, Gareth. Shit what? On, if say, say how bad you were sucking? Yeah. Okay, I won't. Well, I need to get off of this thing first. Uh, all right. Jesus. Can't even concentrate on anything. Okay, so we're going to talk about regaining power and some of the things that you can do to regain your power. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the first one on the list is uh, giving up, giving up winning. That's kind of a weird thing to say. Um, it makes sense though. You know, go ahead. Well, I mean, winning has power over you. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're obsessed with winning, you lose sight of other things. And winning, like, I'm not saying winning is bad because winning is good uh, to a certain extent. To a certain extent. It drives many positive attitudes and features, but it also drives many negative ones. Many, many negatives, many negatives. Uh, I mean, you just need to take the little wins. Uh, getting everyone just wants such big, grandiose goals and everything, and I don't think that that's healthy. Sometimes, you know, like getting out of bed is an accomplishment for a lot of people. So, huh? Oh, oh there you yeah! Go. There you go. Yeah. You were just in the wrong spot. Sliding door open. Yeah. I told you. Kind Cave of. Johnson. Kind of. Thousands of tests performed here every day. Pre-recorded messages. I really wish that we, we, we could just listen to all of the Cave Johnson stuff. It's pretty pretty damn hilarious. Uh, number two, maintaining a mantra or a calming practice. But when when you lose your power. Well, yeah. Well, just in general, uh, I would say that uh, losing power or obtaining power has to do with resiliency. Uh, 
in an aspect, you know, being able to have resiliency and utilize it. So um, maintaining a calming practice or meditation or yoga or anything like that or a mantra that you tell yourself, like, I am awesome, I am awesome, uh, all of those things. It's just kind of self-affirmations, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of can regain your power, you know, to be like, I'm strong, I'm so strong. But actually say it like you actually believe it. Yeah, don't, like don't. I got a song for that. You want to hear it? <laughs> <laughs> it Everything is awesome. <laughs> Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Dude. Perhaps you've heard it. Uh, I have not. I've never heard that song you're not, you're before. You're unfamiliar. <laughs> I'm unfamiliar. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that song. Uh, go over there. Zoom. Go over there. It wants you to zoom. I'm just letting you know <laughs> that you can. It's like, hey, you, you can do this, you know. Um, over there. Maybe over there. I'm not sure. Maybe over there. Um, somewhere, somewhere around here, right? What are you saying? Resiliency? Oh yeah, resiliency. Uh, but like having a calming practice, and or a mantra that you tell yourself, uh, it's really common amongst everything. It's just mindfulness practices. Yeah, say it so kind of goes with lots of yeah. lots of things, not just power lots issues. Of practices. I don't know where. Uh. Next one is objectively reflect on stuff. Oh, I don't know. Where should I, where should I go? G money? Oh, down. Yes, and the wrong fella. Maybe, uh, maybe down. Uh, but objectively look at situations and use utilize this thing called. Uh, we'll talk about it eventually, but it's called uh, emotional intelligence. And it's. Uh, oh, could I have just? Sounds like taking emotion out of it and using only intelligence. Right. Well, I mean, when you're angry or when you're That's what being upset. objective is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's analyzing. The, the literal sense of it. Uh, but, you know, just are you being emotionally intelligent when you have an argument with your significant other, when you're dealing with, you know, uh, being depressed or upset? I think this is just going to take me all the way back down. And I'm just going to run all the way back up. Uh, when you're arguing with someone, when you're dealing with, you know, anxiety or depression or even like a severe diagnosis, you know, are you, are you being emotionally intelligent? Are you objectively looking at things and kind of holding that <laughs> up in some light so you can actually think about it and realize what's going on? Uh, but that's pretty common. And then uh, also acknowledging, dude, it's, it's going to drive me insane. <laughs> It's, it's you better start thinking about it objectively. I, I'm you're using your emotion. You're getting angry. You're so, you're so funny. You know <laughs> that? You're just so yes, funny. I That's why I keep you around. Um, hmm. Is there, uh, Jump into the water. I mean, I, I could. Will you die? Pro well, yes. Try it anyway. No, I've, I've already tried this before. Just do it. No. Sacrifice your power. <laughs> Sacrifice the power. There's one. But then I can't. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay. I got an idea. Okay. I got an idea. But we're I'm gonna waiting. Do this. Okay. Uh, so some of the. Oh. Just jump down there, dude. I can't yet. Hold on. I gotta get to a place that where I can actually jump off or jump down. I think I have to. Oh, it's gonna be something stupid. Watch. It's gonna be like on top of the elevator that I have to. <laughs> it just rode the elevator all the way up. Um, so, like, getting fired. Uh, so, it, as far as an example of that goes, so uh, giving up the need to win or having the big goal. If you're fired, you know, you don't have that job anymore. You know, you're not going to get – you might you might not get as good of a job as you did before. But what you need to worry about is just getting a job, getting that income so that that way you can provide for yourself, you know, mm -hmm. and then maintaining that calming practice. So just remembering that you will find another job, you know, telling yourself that you will find another job. Oh, my gosh. Am I going to have to run all Saying the way I'm back? good up? enough. Yeah. I'm smart enough. And gosh darn it. People like me. Yeah. Well, that actually works. We talked about positive affirmations, you know, uh, and then so objectively reflecting same thing, you know, understanding that you're going to get another job. You might not have as good of an, or an awesome job as you wanted, but... Oh, what? Back down the bottom. Dude. This looks like uh, Bioshock. Like, 
dude. Like, dude, bro. Dude. Dude. Go up again. You go up more. You go up more. Oh, see, it's even telling me to put the orange one on that side. Damn it. Go. Gosh. And then, and then I can go through here. Okay. Okay. I got it. And then I can shoot. Right? Nope. No, it's still there. Right? It's still, it's still there. I think it is. I hope. Yeah, because if I open this one, I put this one here, and I jump down. Oh. Nope. Nope. It's got to go up. But yeah, just send it back up now, and then it'll be there. Get off the elevator, though. Well, I'm going to take it all the way up because I got to drop. I got to drop. Uh, the main thing that is going to come from this, that, that is take away from this, is uh, understanding that loss of power can transfer over and can kind of be hidden amongst other aspects of your life. So when you're super mad, you know, that's a loss of power. That's a, a sadness. That's some hurt. You know, that's some emotional shit that you got to deal with, you know, that might not be, uh, might not be just hurt. Bobby's mother shit. Yeah, there we're about go. to fly, bro. Whoa! Whoa, man. Oh, I was going to be so excited. That was beautiful. Oh, right? It was cute. Here we are. Look. Pump station. Alpha. Cool. Pump station. Cave Johnson's probably hanging out in the pump station. <laughs> Dude, Cave Johnson hangs out everywhere in here. Um, but, yeah. So, I mean, it's power is literal as, uh, you know, losing your job or not getting a promotion. But then there's also... You know, social and economic status, you know, if you can't, if you can't feed your family or your kids or you need to make rent, you know, like that's a loss of power. Uh, having skills, like if someone comes in and they're better at you, uh, better than something in, than you are, that's kind of, that can be a loss of power. There's numerous aspects where you just, uh, over there, where you just have a loss of power and that, you know, can affect you really greatly. I just was here. Mm-hmm. Over there. Whoop. Yeah. Um, over here. Yeah. Do it. There's you looking at you, looking at you, falling down. Falling down. Making my way, falling down fast. Oh. Oh, I can't. Dang it. I'm gonna go all the way down here. Okay. But I think that's all I got for uh for that. Cool. Sounds good. Uh oh, this way. All right, so like and comment if you enjoy what we're talking about. Do the same thing if you don't enjoy what we're talking about because we care what y'all think. Yes, you can comment if you want to see us play any particular game or hear us talk about any particular subject. Oh, dude, I got through the level. Booyah. Ooh, come back for more questions. See ya. Bye. Can you hear me? I farted. Oh, why? Can you smell the fucking gas up in your nose before we started? <laughs> <laughs> Solid. <laughs>